The pandemic has brought a not only uh, it's not only sobered people. I think it's frightened many people, uh, not just for their health, not just because it's a vicious illness, uh, but because it does have its financial impact and its social impact that uh, have taken us away from uh, each other. I think what we've been left with, fortunately, in a blessed way, is that uh, if we haven't been able to turn here and we can't turn there, we can turn up. Uh, and uh, I hope that one thing we've all done is uh, come closer to God, that uh, we know that He does not move. He is not subject to pandemics. Uh, he can uh, not only cure that problem, but He can cure every other problem in our lives. So my testimony uh, to the church and to the world is that this is true. This is God's very truth. This is not a fairy tale. This is not something that I get up every morning and ask myself, how can I go fool another group of people today? How can I go pretend that something's true? How can I go uh, work a great fiction on uh, the public? I would not do that, and my life is worth more to me than that, and my witness to my children and my children's children is worth more than that, it means more than that. My integrity is more than that. I get up every morning saying, not how can I pretend, not how can I act like this is true. My plea every morning of my life is, how can I convey what I know to be more true than anything on the face of this earth? How can I convey to some person or persons the reality of the divinity of the Lord Jesus Christ, the fact that God lives, that the heavens are open, I have a commission uh, to stand by the Savior of the world, uh, to defend him and uh, defend the rock that he is. Joseph Smith and Hiram did not sit in Carthage jail ready to be executed by a mob. They did not pull out the Book of Mormon and say, let's tell some jokes from this book we made up. No one would do that. No one would do that. Uh, they read from that book because they knew it was true and they knew it would be their salvation. A missionary once asked me, Elder Holland, would you give your life for the church? And I said, Elder, I am giving my life for the church. Every day I'm giving my life for the church because I know it's true. <laughs>